Hey guys, the objective of this video is just to have a quick summary for slab 2. We're going to be looking at the bottom reinforcing mid span, the top reinforcing at the continuous support, and the top reinforcing at the discontinuous support. So, first of all, the bottom reinforcing. So, we're at mid span of our slab. So, slab number 2, we're looking at mid span. The reason it's bottom reinforcing is because at mid span our beam will sag which means that the bottom of the sorry the bottom of the slab is in tension which means that the steel reinforcement must be at the bottom to resist that tension so we saw that the diagram would look something like this spanning the LX that spacing would be N12 at 190 mils and spanning the LY direction that spacing would be N12s at 280 mils so we saw that in the previous videos for number two which is the top reinforcing at a continuous support so we have a diagram that looks something like this now at the continuous support so for slab number two it's continuous there there and there so we need to find the top reinforcing um, along these three edges so the reason it's top reinforcing is because at the supports our slab will be hogging which means that the top is now in tension, which means the steel needs to be at the top of the slab. So we found that spanning the LY, those steel bars there are at a spacing of 220 mils. Spanning the LX, the spacing of those are at 140 mils and they're N12 bars. And the last thing we found was the top reinforcing at the discontinuous edge. So once again, the top reinforcing, the reason it's top at the support at this discontinuous edge is because it's hogging, so the tension is in the top. Now we found that all we needed to find was the span for the LX, and they are at a spacing of 300 mils. So guys, I hope this, this uh, video just puts